So today I'm down in Cinderford and I'm here to catch up with our project partners, Seven Rivers Trust. They're carrying out quite a unique part of the ERDF Wild Towns project right here on the brook. A while back we caught up with Will Pelham as he introduced the work that they're going to be doing and they're now in the early stages of doing it. So we thought we'd come down and catch up with them to see what they're up to. So let's go and have a look. Hello, and today is a really exciting day as I'm going to be joined by EMEC who are going to be undertaking some white claw crayfish surveys. White claw crayfish are critically endangered species and due to the weir modifications that Sanctus are undertaking, we need to remove as many individuals as we can and take them to receptor sites just upstream. Once the weir modifications have been undertaken, we can allow those individuals to then recolonize their former homes. We're going to be having a look at EMEX surveying techniques and also the identification of white claw crayfish and the comparison to the invasive signal crayfish. So let's go and find out more. Wait. There you go. Front of his snout to, in effect, the back of his, before he goes soft, so there's a softer bit, well not that soft, but before he articulated a bit, this hard carapace here, so you measure that, and he is a good size at 39mm. Here today and we're looking for a white clawed crayfish. White clawed crayfish is Britain's only native crayfish. There are several species of crayfish currently found in the United Kingdom, uh, the two commonest being the signal crayfish, which is by far the commonest, and the white clawed crayfish, uh, which is getting uh, reasonably scarce compared to what it used to be. One of the problems is the invasive signal crayfish uh, either usurps the residents of the white clawed crayfish because it outcompetes it, or it brings with it something called crayfish plague. Uh, if crayfish plague gets into a waterway, white claw crayfish can't cope with it so they quickly they're quickly lost from a water course. Uh, how do you tell the difference between a white claw crayfish and a signal crayfish? In a white claw crayfish this projection here converges to a point whereas in a signal crayfish the two lines either side of a projection run in a more parallel direction. Another thing to look out for on a white claw crayfish the claws are actually quite knobbly, whereas if you, if you, if you find a, a signal crayfish, it's usually got slightly larger claws, and the claws are quite smooth. And we've also got a little white mark there, it's signal, so it can wave out a signal. Sex in a crayfish is quite easy. Females are quite broad. They're broad in this bit here, where they carry their eggs. And whereas the male, proportionally, it's slightly narrower. Let me get a better example. Ooh, oh, come on matey. Slightly narrower. And he has these projections up here which he passes his spermatophore from the from himself to the female. So today's been a really interesting day. We found 36 different white claw crayfish here in the brook, from some large adults right down to some tiny little baby ones. It's a really good sign because it shows that the population here is breeding. This is crucial for the white claw crayfish, which is threatened across much of the UK. This baseline survey that we've carried out will allow us to draw a comparison from the survey that we've done today to any future surveys. This will allow us to see whether the population here is increasing or decreasing. On our next visit, we're going to be carrying out some electrofishing to see much the same with what species of fish are using the brook. So check back in a few weeks time for our next instalment. 